Now, before I start on today's video, there are some YouTubers that leave a lasting impression on you. Thomas Heaton, obviously, he was the one that got me, inspired me to pick up a video camera and start videoing myself, doing my thing. Uh, but there's one guy in particular, a guy called Alan Wallace, an absolutely incredible fella, young fella, talent, knowledge, expertise. He's got it to burn, he's got the lot. He's one of a kind, he's Alan. And for anybody that doesn't know Alan's work, I'll put a link below. Check him out. His speciality is night sky photography. What this guy doesn't know about astrophotography isn't worth knowing. Three, two, one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Andromeda and M33 as well. We got him. <laughs> oh, man. I heard the news today that sadly Alan has passed. I can't say no more than that. I'm just absolutely devastated. I only watched his, his last video was 12 days ago when he went out on a limb to photograph 12p Pons Brooks, the comet. He tried, he tried, he tried, and in the end, look, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to explain it to you. Just, I'll, I'll put a link below to this video. Just, just go watch it because it's, uh, it's Alan's last, last offering. I can't say it's his best offering because he's never put out a bad video. I'd just like to pass on my sincere condolences to the Wallace family, his close friends, anybody else that knew him really. Sad, sad news. All right, go check out his work. What a man. A few weeks ago, I was down in Wellington, the capital of New Zealand, shooting street photography at the Super Duper event. I'll put the link up there, check it out. You'll enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Well, I'm down there shooting with the Leica Q2 as a primary camera. Took the X-Pro2 down. I can't, I can't show you it because you're filming me. So I took the X-Pro2 down with its 850 nanometer infrared converted black and white sensor. And I thought every now and then, I thought I'll just pull it out, get a few shots, see how it goes. The camera is fantastic. Absolutely love it. Love the infrared conversion. Unfortunately, it's Wellington. It's not Hawke's Bay. Hawke's Bay, where I live, we've got this quite a lot. We've got stunning blue skies intense heat and it just it just makes infrared pop down in wellington we had quite a bit of cloud it kept coming in and out the sun and every time it did come out i whipped the camera out took a few shots recorded some video b-roll with the idea to put a vlog together unfortunately my one regret i didn't shoot enough did not shoot enough i went straight back to the q2 and, and kept shooting with the q2 i should have stuck with the uh, the x pro 2 just to put it through its paces a bit more but this is just a little video a little snippet of a video uh, just to show you what infrared video looks like and what people photographed in infrared looks like you have got to be careful obviously infrared certain clothes certain fabrics can apparently be sort of see-through i've not experienced that personally long may that continue if you're keen on street photography and you're keen on infrared combine the two because let me tell you this has got so much so much potential i'm only scratching the surface yet but i'm loving it in fact tell you what i'm loving that sky over there as well that is gorgeous the clouds will pop out of that blue sky let's show you get some video get a skill ouch I'm thinking that shot there, or thereabouts. Let's give that a whirl.
One thing I didn't really notice at the time of shooting, I'd, I'd got a billboard in the background of some of the photographs and I, I saw it and I thought, yeah, it kind of adds to it. It, it sort of dates it, you know, signs and, and things like that. They date a photograph. So in years to come, people say, oh, that must have been around that sort of era. But I didn't really take much notice of it. I started loading things onto the computer and I'm looking, I thought, that is June. I, I've never seen the movies June. I, I wouldn't have a clue really what it's all about. But I do remember reading that June, the latest one, has been shot in infrared and that's how the, some of the characters look real alien zombie type of thing. I think it just adds to the video and the photographs. Next time I've got something, something just a little bit special for you. Something I was pretty nervous about, but I think I've just done the shoot and I think it's come out quite well. I'm quite pleased with it and, uh, and the chosen subject seems quite pleased with it as well. So uh, stay tuned next time. Love it. I think corrugating looks so good against, uh, you know, when you dress up in a the black day, you pop yeah. that off in the background. Give us a real strong stance now.